Welcome to our new video series, What's New in Microsoft Graph. Is this feature available for all of the APIs under Graph? You are on a Graph Explorer, you're interested in the SDK, but you don't know where to find things. I can see uh, how to do this exactly in Go. Okay, so we are asking community help here. Let's say as a new developer, I don't know where to get started with the SDKs. We know like it's a great value for uh, developers. If you're interested, keep on watching. <laughs> Hey everyone, welcome to our new video series, What's New in Microsoft Graph. I have a, one of my colleagues here, Rebeb. Hi Rebeb, how are you? Hi, how are you? I'm good, how are you? I'm doing great, it's been so long since we talked. How, how, how is everything going? It's, it's good, it's good. We are fairly busy at the uh, Microsoft Graph, especially with build coming very soon. So, but things are good and exciting. Yeah, there are so many changes happening in the Graph Explorer, SDK. So we want to actually talk about all these changes. Um, of course, we have built and we have so many amazing sessions going on. But also, we just wanted to deep dive what is new in Graph Explorer in this video. So if you're interested, keep on watching. <laughs> <laughs> but Rabeb, since you're the program manager of Graph Explorer officially, what is new in Graph uh, around build 2022, uh, especially Graph Explorer for this video? Yes, so um, the, the very exciting thing, uh, at least for me, and I think for all of us, is um, despite the fact we have like different tools and we have different PNs, each one of us working on our own thing, we... Um, we all work together. We, we all work together around our mission, which is delighting our customers who most of them are developers in our case. So a lot of the work we did was like, how can I improve this experience for the developer? Uh, what is missing from my product? So, you know, again, to make the developer's experience, their journey with Microsoft the Graph, better so um so it was really great because it wasn't just like about me or about the graph explorer it was about all of us oh i want to see this on the documentation as well you know what it should be great if we add this to the sdks and same thing you know the sdks teams my colleague maiza would come to me and she's like can we please have like powershell code snippets on graph explorer because our community want to see that so it, it, in that sense, like working together and focusing on how to delight our um, developers was great. Like work was so much fun. And with that, I can share my screen and show you some of the things that we added to Graph Explorer. So Awesome. So I feel like you listen to uh, community comments a lot when you're doing the newest updates. Yes. Right, we can see the Graph Explorer right now. Yes. So, <laughs> One of my favorite tools. <laughs> good, good. Mine too. <laughs> so, so you mentioned something like code snippets and you mentioned uh, PowerShell. I remember for a long time we had C Sharp, JavaScript, Java already, but seems like there are new ones added. Uh, uh, so, yes. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> so, just a quick reminder in case anyone watching this video it's their first time looking at graph explorer so um, graph explorer is a developer tool that uh, helps the developers primarily and users um, to learn and test the uh, microsoft graph apis and integrate with uh, some other features such as the code snippets uh, for example as you said aisha for the code snippets, we used to have only C Sharp, JavaScript, and Java. So uh, the latest addition to that is the Go code snippets awesome. and the PowerShell uh, code snippets. So um, for any Go developers and PowerShell developers, now you can see some code samples that you might want to, you know, just copy and paste in your own apps or just to look at how the code looks like in your uh, preferred language. So again, if I, I already am running this query, so, and then in Go, 
I can see uh, how to do this exactly in Go. In PowerShell, it should be something like this. Um, mm -hmm. The other cool thing about the code snippets that we also added them uh, to the documentation. So if you go to our API reference, you will also now find um, with the different you know, APIs and documentation, you can also find the uh, code snippets for Go and for PowerShell. Is this feature available for all of the APIs under Graph? Um, there are, yes, yes, except there are ve very few exceptions with PowerShell. So um, if you see something, say something, as they say. <laughs> and in case something is missing, uh, please just like, you know, um, talk to us or uh, open an issue. Some of it is not available because it is not available. So unfortunately, we can't do much about that. But some of it is maybe we just missed something or, or so some of it can be um, fixed. But for the most part, this is for all of the APIs, of course. Okay, so we are asking community help here. If you see something, let us know. <laughs> so we will make sure PowerShell and Go will be there for each and every API. Yeah. Another question, let's say that I uh, go to Go or PowerShell and see the code, this is awesome. And let's say as a new developer, I don't know where to get started with the SDKs. Uh, is there anything they can get out of Graph Explorer? Yes. So um, another thing that we added is, uh, you know, these links. Um, and as much as it might look like it's a small addition, but we know like it's a great value for uh, developers because we just, we don't want them like, you know, to be uh, looking. We don't want them to have any disruptions in their experience. So you are on a graph explorer, you're interested in the SDK, but you don't know where to find things. And you are probably on Google, Bing, 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 <laughs> trying to look where can I download the SDK or where can I read more about the SDK. So we added this now when you are exploring these code snippets, depending on the language, you will be um, redirected to where you can download the SDK um, and where you can right. read more about it. Let me, I'm gonna, to prove it's working for all languages, I'm gonna pick another language. So <laughs> here I can go and I see um, the SDK's overview uh, and then awesome. you can read about uh, all of them. Yeah, it is important in my opinion because we've worked with Graph for a long time. We may not realize because we know our way uh where yes. to find the documentation about it but someone who is not that aware about microsoft technologies or graphs specifically it's really useful for them to have the links in the same space they're exploring so yeah. they can easily find their own way and get started because after practicing the next step is definitely uh trying yourself and you should definitely go ahead and download the sdks and try it yourself Yes, and again, it's because the way we've been thinking about this, it's not just about like, here is what you can do with the Graph Explorer and everything else is not my problem. It's like, now what? What's next for the developer? So we are really trying to think about that journey end to end. As you said, okay, you're here, you saw the code snippet, you tried a few you know, um, endpoints, we know that the, the next step probably is that you want to see what's available on the SDKs. You want to maybe try them and download them. So it's all um, in an attempt to make it easy for the developer to move from a step to another, basically. Yeah, exactly. It's actually same for the uh, sample queries. Uh, when you try the sample queries, it runs and shows you the JSON um uh, result and then you can go to code snippets and copy the code but now i see like we have a documentation right next to each and every sample query which is also awesome so i feel like documentation and the graphics for is coming together and we direct people who want to deep dive more to the documentation 
um, which is awesome. Yeah, so here for the documentation, um, again, people are here to, you know, test and explore what's available uh, on Microsoft Graph. And we know that, you know what they say, it's not enough to just build tools if you don't have the right documentation for them. Uh, it's an incomplete experience because uh, documentation is really important for um, developers, whether they are like new, uh, whether they are early on in their journey with Microsoft Graph, uh, so they want to read what's available and all the details, or even when they are like, you know, fairly experienced because they want to keep up and make sure that uh, they know about all the latest. So we added these uh, documentation uh, links here for each one of these uh, calls. So if you click here, you will go on the um, documentation uh, portal and you can read more about, um, you know, the latest point. Yes. This is awesome, like, uh, because when you try, you understand, but then you have questions as a developer, like, which permissions I need, uh, what else I can get out of this API, so on and so forth. So I feel like 70% of our job as developers is reading the documentation and trying out. Uh, it's really helpful. I'm glad we have the links for each query here for the documentations. Yes. And talking about permission, Aisha, um, this is also fairly new, which is the permissions tab. And um, so for each one of these um, queries, mm -hmm. and in case the, uh, the developer, in case the user doesn't have the uh, right permissions, uh, first of all, they will see a, a little pop-up message saying, oh, actually you're missing permissions. And then they can consent to uh, the permissions they need here. Um, mm -hmm. They don't need to consent to all permissions. Uh, the least permis um, permission would work. Uh, as you can see, for example, for me here, I'm not consented to this, but I'm consented to the user uh, read all uh, and read write, which allows me to run my query anyway. This is awesome. I also see another thing right next to sample queries. It's fairly new resources. Uh, yeah. <laughs> what is resources? Resources, our uh, latest addition to um, to the features on Graph Explorer. So, as 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 the names as the names indicates, resources is. Um, every resource available on Microsoft Graph. It's like a, uh, a resources explorer within, uh, within Graph Explorer. So um, here uh, you can see literally everything that is available on Microsoft Graph. So All the APIs. All of it, all of it. And then this is V1. You can also see what's available on beta. Mm -hmm. um, did you have a question about that? Yeah. Um, so what is the difference between resources and sample queries? Because we also have queries in the sample queries, but seems like we have uh, all of the APIs and resources too. Yes. Good question. So sample queries is um, for, you know, for the learning experience, we might not be uh, giving you an every single API. Microsoft Graph is massive, it's huge. So it's like, it's a taster. It's some of the queries that could help you, you know, just get a taster of Microsoft Graph. Of course, if you want to, um, to learn more, there is the documentation. You can build your own uh, queries. So if something is not available directly on sample queries, you still can build the query uh, here and then run it anyway. While for resources, that's literally everything that is available on Graph. The other thing about resources is what you can do with it. While with sample queries, again, it's to run queries to learn about them, see what you, like, what's your response? Do I need any headers, like permissions, etc. 
With resources, you have the ability to pick and choose the resources that you're interested in and download them as a postman collection. So let me show you an example. For example, if I am going to randomly pick these two and I'm going to say add to my collection, I'm going to add another one. So you then, can add mu multiple of them. Yes, you can add like as much as you want. You can add all of it if, if that's what you need, really. Uh, yes, literally, I can keep adding all of these things. And then I can preview my collection so I can oh, see. Okay. So the items that I added are actually here. Um, in case I change my mind, I can remove some of them as well if I want to. I don't want this. So I'm going to remove it. And then once you're happy with your collection, you can download that collection. So if I click on download here, and then I'm going to say open this file and let's see. And here it is. I have a Postman collection. Nice. The, the ones you add, since you logged in as a, your own user profile, uh, does it stay there as uh, as long as you don't remove them? Let's say that you edit to you edit them today, and later on next week you logged in again with your profile. Do you still see these selections in your collection? Does it stay there? Mm, th that is a very good question, Aisha. So um, this is the first iteration of what we are uh, planning to do with resources. So. Um, as long as you're still logged in and you're around, you will still see your collection. But if you just like, you know, um, you will eventually uh, lose it if you log out and log in again. Hmm. Um, that being said, again, this is only the first iteration. And um, in future iterations, in future work, one of the things what, uh, that we want to add which is kind of, as a PM, I'm almost making a, a promise now, a public promise, is the ability <laughs> is the ability to edit the collection. Can I, you know, even like, can I upload my collection again from my machine and edit it? So um, this is all uh, going to be uh, coming um, later on. Wow. Okay. So since you did one promise, uh, what else is coming soon? Any other promises? <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> right. Let's see. What, what can I promise? And uh, I will keep my promises. Okay. Some of the things that are coming very, very soon. We are slightly changing um, the layout of uh, Graph Explorer. And um, basically the idea is to, um, you know, a good UI, a good user experience, you know, contributes to a good developer experience. So we want to make sure that like the main area is focusing on the features that the developer needs to use. And like we want like to remove any visual clutter to make it very easy to navigate Graph Explorer. So um, very, very soon. Uh, this one I can promise confidently, probably uh, next week or something. My next video with Aisha would be about this. We are going to have like a nice uh, header area where we will take everything related, you know, to um, signing in, all the settings. We have a few settings on Graph Explorer, you know, themes to sign in, sign up. So, this is all going to be moved to a nice header area to make sure oh, nice. that there is enough uh, space. The main space on the tool would be dedicated to the main features, like, you know, sample queries, resources, etc. So this is coming soon. Um, we are also looking into um, some work to uh, improve the autocomplete experience. Uh, to make it better and make it uh, easier for developers. Um, you know, as, as someone who joined the team um, seven months ago, I didn't particularly, you know, know my ways around Microsoft Graph in general or Graph Explorer. So um, 
having autocomplete to kind of, you know, guide me and help me build those queries is a big plus. And uh, we know there is room to improve and make it even better for the developers. So that's also something uh, we are working on. I hope awesome. I'm I hope I'm not upsetting anyone uh, I work <laughs> by making all these promises. <laughs> <laughs> we will see. <laughs> so autocomplete is coming to the query bo box, as I understood. I, there, there is already some suggestions coming, but I'm assuming there will be a lot more yes. uh, of yes. this yeah. Yeah. in addition to the current version. Yeah, so there is, yeah, there is already autocomplete, but there will be uh, more stuff coming in improvements yeah okay this is awesome so uh just to sum up what we've learned so far uh, with rebeb let us take us here uh, out of graph explorer i see the code snippets it's great we have go and partial so we also have uh the sdk links if you want to go ahead and learn more about the sdks what else we've seen? The same experience is available in the docs. So if you go to the documentation, you can also uh, have the same uh, languages available, Go and PowerShell. I also see the links added right next to each sample query. So you can check out the documentation is available with them. We have Resources Explorer. It's available right next to uh, the queries. Uh, this is awesome because it seems like not all the examples cover the APIs available in uh, Graph version 1 and beta. So we have the full list of APIs available under the resources. And um, there are lots of things coming up soon as well. We will probably have videos a lot more about what else uh, is coming soon. Uh, and we will show you each and every update iteration of Graph Explorer. I feel like the user experience will be uh, the top priority. It is changing a lot, but also there will be some new features like autocomplete and just making developers' life easier. Yeah. Uh, Rabeth and the team continue working really hard. Did I miss anything? <laughs> no, no, I'm impressed. You did remember all of it. That's amazing. No, yes. Um, again, uh, really, I can't emphasize this enough. The uh, the user is the the center of everything we do. Um, so please, again, your feedback and let us know. Let us know. You know, as as Aisha said, sometimes when you're like in the middle of something, you might miss things. So let us know what you want and what is missing. And uh, you know, we won't take it personally. We just make things better. <laughs> exactly. So a community. Uh, we need definitely community help in each and every product, especially Graph Explorer. If you have any feedback, feel free to share them. It definitely helps a lot, uh, RubApp and the team, so they, they can understand better what developers are experiencing. So um, don't hesitate to keep in touch with the product teams. Yep. All right. I, I guess this is all about the Graph Explorer so far, right? Yes. <laughs> Okay, so we can close out this video, but we will have a lot more about Microsoft Graph and what's new in Graph. So continue watching our other videos. Yay. Bye, everyone. Bye.